Hello everybody, my name is Claudia and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I was going to share with you guys my favorite poems from Milk and Honey by Ruby Carr. This book is a series of poetry books divided into four sections. The hurting, the loving, the breaking, and the healing. And I decided to pick three from each section and share it with you guys. How is it so easy for you to be kind to people, he asked. Milk and honey dripped from my lips as I answered, because people have not been kind to me. Every time you tell your daughter you yell at her out of love, you teach her to confuse anger with kindness, which seems like a good idea till she grows up to trust men who hurt her because they look so much like you, to fathers with daughters. Father, you always call to say nothing in particular. You ask what I'm doing or where I am, and when the silence stretches like a lifetime between us, I scramble to find questions to keep the conversation going. What I long to say most is, I understand this world broke you. It has been so hard on your feet. I don't blame you for not knowing how to remain soft with me. Sometimes I stay up thinking of all the places you are hurting, which you'll never care to mention. I come from the same aching blood, from the same bone, so desperate for attention, I collapse in on myself. I am your daughter. I know that small talk is the only way you know how to tell me you love me because it's the only way I know how to tell you. My favorite thing about you is your smell. You smell like earth, herbs, gardens, a little more human than the rest of us. He says, I am sorry I am not an easy person to want. I look at him surprised. Who said I wanted easy? I don't crave easy. I crave goddamn difficult. I do not want to have you, to fill the empty parts of me. I want to be full on my own. I want to be so complete I could light up a whole city. And then, I want to have you, cause the two of us combined could set it on fire. I always get myself into this mess. I always let him tell me I am beautiful, and half believe it. I always jump thinking he'll catch me at the fall. I am hopelessly a lover and a dreamer, and that will be the death of me. I don't know what living a balanced life feels like. When I am sad, I don't cry, I pour. When I'm happy, I don't smile, I glow. When I am angry, I don't yell, I burn. The good thing about feeling in extremes is, what I love, I give them wings. But perhaps that isn't such a good thing cause they always tend to leave and you should see me when my heart is broken. I don't grieve, I shatter. I am confident I am over you. So much that some mornings, I wake up with a smile on my face and my hands pressed together thanking the universe for pulling you out of me. Thank God I cry. Thank God you left. I would not be the empire I am today if you had stayed. But then, there are some nights I imagine what I might do if you showed up. How if you walked into the room this very second, every awful thing you've ever done will be tossed out the closest window and all the love will rise up again. It will pour through my eyes as if it never really left in the first place. As if it's been practicing how to stay silent for so long only so that I could be this loud on your arrival. Can someone explain that? How even when the love leaves, it doesn't leave. How even when I am so past you, I am so helplessly brought back to you. Sometimes the apology never comes when it's wanted. And when it comes, it's neither wanted nor needed you're too late. My issue with what they consider beautiful is their concept of beauty centers around excluding people. I find hair beautiful when a woman wears it like a garden on her skin. That is the definition of beauty. Big hooked noses pointing upward to the sky like they're rising to the occasion. Skin, the color of earth, my ancestors planted crops on to fit a lineage of women with thighs thick as tree trunks, eyes like almonds, Deeply hooded with conviction, the rivers of Punjab flow through my bloodstream, so don't tell me my women aren't as beautiful as the ones in your country. I want to apologize to all the women I have called pretty before I've called them intelligent or brave. I am sorry I made it sound as though something as simple as what you're born with is the most you have to be proud of when your spirit has crushed mountains. From now on, I will say things like, you are resilient, or 
You are extraordinary, not because I don't think you're pretty, but because you are so much more than that. If you guys have not read Milk and Honey, I hope this video will give you that little extra push because this is really a wonderful poetry book. Thank you for everybody who left me those comments on my first video, BookTube Newbie Tech welcoming me to BookTube. You guys really made my day and you guys made me not regret starting this channel. You guys really are a very welcoming community. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time. Bye!